Today I'm going to show you how to create something like this. So every time I post on Twitter or any other social media, it automatically sends it out to my Discord server. I've got one set up for Twitter, my YouTube channel and Facebook, and you can also do this for your website or pretty much anything you want. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is create a new server, or if you already have one set up, that's great. The second thing we want to do is create a new channel where we want our social media feed to be. Now, if I go to my main server here, as you can see, I have four different channels for different social media types. So I want to do exactly that by right clicking on the left sort of box area here, clicking on create channel. I want to call it something that we can identify it by. So I'm going to click Twitter feeds and click create channel. Once we've done that, we then want to click on the gear icon of that channel and then we want to click on webhooks and create webhook. Now again, we want to call it something that we can identify it by. Um, so we're going to call it Twitter, uh, Twitter post. And you can upload an image if you want. I always use the social media icon. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and copy this webhook URL. We're going to need this for later. And once you've done that, just click save. And that's your webhook all set up on the Discord side of things. So you can exit out of this. Now we've got our Discord webhook set up, we then want to go ahead to a website um, called IFTTT. There will be a link in the description so you can get to it quicker and you want to create an account, it is free to sign up with. Now what this website does is basically connects different parts of the internet to others. So for example it's going to connect our Twitter feed or our Facebook feed whatever you want it to be to our Discord server. So every time you post on your Facebook or Twitter it's going to also post on Discord. And it does this through the URL that we copied from the Discord server. So once you've got your account all set up and ready to go, we're now going to go ahead and connect the two services. We do this by clicking on your name at the top right hand corner and click on new applet. Now we're going to select our first service, which is going to be our social media feed. So we're going to click on this plus icon or this. And we want to select the social media feed we want to use. So I'm going to use Twitter for example. Now it will prompt you to sign into your Twitter account. Uh, with a pop-up box so once you've signed in you're going to get a number of options that look like this so you just want to select whatever you want to show so I'm going to click on new tweets by you and you can include retweets and replies but I'm not going to this time and I'm going to click create trigger now also selected our social media feed we then want to go ahead and connect that to our discord by clicking on the other uh, plus box I want to type in webhooks click on the webhooks icon now there will only be one option here, or if there is multiple ones, uh, just click on make a web request. And now we're going to enter some information. Now at the top here where it says URL, we want to paste the uh, URL that we copied early from Discord. And the method, we're going to click on the drop down, drop down box and click on post. Content type, we're going to click on application for slash JSON. Now the body type, there will be some code in the description that you can copy. So once we've copied the code from the description or typed it out, you just want to select between these quotes here and you want to click add ingredient. Now here is where we're basically going to select how the content is being posted onto our Discord server. So whether you want it to repost it as a text or username or whatever you want, I always click link to tweet. That way people can actually see the tweet on my Discord server and they can also click on it to go directly to Twitter. Now once you've done that, all you need to do is click create action. And this process is exactly the same for setting up any other type of content, so YouTube or your website. And once we get to this page here, all we need to do is click finish. And here it's basically saying that the webhook has been fully set up and it is currently on. Now this webhook service is fully automated and it works 24 hours, 7 days a week. There might be a slight delay uh, posting it to your Discord server when you've made the tweet. So it might be like a couple of minutes delay, a couple of seconds. Or it might be even up to an hour's delay. But if you find that it doesn't work, you can always go to the uh, webhook service here and click check now. And what that will do is automatically check for any updates and retweet it to your Discord server instantly. You can also modify the webhook service by clicking on this gear icon. And it will take you back to this page here where you can scroll all the way down and make any adjustments if you need to. Now if you scroll all the way to the top of the website and you click on my applets, as you can see, I already have a number of them set up. So I have a WordPress one for my website, a Facebook one, and a YouTube one. 
and I do have two Twitter ones because I've literally just set one up even though I already had one set up before so I can delete one of these now. I just want to take the time to quickly shout out a brand new community server I have launched. I wanted to create a friendly community where everyone can get together and help each other out. Whether it be a hardware or software issue, issue growth advice or just for a general chatting and making friends. There is also a place where you can keep up to date with my latest content so you don't miss a thing. And I'm also looking to expand the community server and its features so it will be more focused and more beneficial to you and it can be a great source of real time information. So if you are interested, the invite link is in the description below where you can join right now. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you do have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.